Welcome back to the Car Pod. This is week number five. We got some thick gravy for you puppets. The Supra has some new news, so tune in. What's right. up? Welcome back, boys and girls. I, uh, it's week number five. Um, we appreciate the reoccurring listeners and any new ones. Uh, we have a goal of 100 subs by the end of April. So if anyone hasn't subbed, please sub up. Um, and yeah, so Jonah, how you been, dude? Dude, I'm hanging in there, you know? I freaking, uh, we were supposed to do this yesterday, but I'm like, yeah, I'll call you back in 10 minutes and then fall asleep and never call you back, you know? <laughs> no, dude, it's, uh, I would imagine that's, like, you know, being a parent, that's probably happens quite a bit, dude. Being oh, an yeah. old dad. Gotta get those naps in when you can. <laughs> yeah, dude, and those meals probably and everything else. But, um. Yeah, so we wanted to talk about uh, some recent Toyota news about the Supra. So that's kind of why uh, we thought this podcast might be worth making here. So um, you want to start it off? Yeah, let's do it. So basically, they're trying to throw the S58 in the next Supra. Good idea, guys. And while you're at it, throw the manual transmission in it, too. So everyone can want to buy one of these things. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if you've been in the new Supra, dude. But even with the B58, it was such a, I don't know, it, for some reason, it felt like a more solid car than, like, let's say the M340, just because maybe it's because it's two doors. But it, it it was so freaking fast. Like, it was unnecessarily fast. And... Yeah. And Go I was ahead. gonna, I, I was gonna say, um, not the M340i, but like if this news is uh, correct about the S58, um, and you want a two door, I think a lot of people will go, not just because of the price. A lot of people will go with the Supra over like the G83, right? That's the M4. Um, uh, just two, because 82, yeah, 82. Sorry, my bad. Um, because it's the uglier of the of the mix like i think a lot of people that are going with the g80 because it, i think the three series is a kind of a handsome car that quarter um the quarter fenders on the rear are like they're really aggressive the rear end's a lot prettier more yeah. proportionate um it just kind of flows better and um i think if you wanted a two-door and this is true about the s58 um it, it just makes a lot more sense going with something like this that is a little bit more handsome that is more proportionate it just it's a better looking car for a two-door in my personal opinion um but yeah the b58 especially with the revision when they changed the head design and the compression ratio i don't know how much more power it made but it was quite a bit more i think they went from like it's so hard because the numbers aren't the most accurate with that kind of yeah. stuff um they kind of mess with the numbers here and there but i want to say it was like a 30 horsepower jump roughly around there um but yeah, dude, I mean, it was enough, it was enough of a jump for people, you know, early adopters to be quite pissed. Um, but with this said, dude, even if it's just a manual option, which that is, that is confirmed that there is a manual coming to the Supra. Um, but that is with the B58. And even with that, that is the biggest steal, dude. Like um, we've kind of talked about, car. oh my dude, it would be, and I, I would imagine it's going to be semi- desirable like it would hold its value what i imagine because it's not going to sell yeah. that many manuals especially if they have a s58 model um let me look up the name of it one more time the grmn is what yeah. they're <laughs> dubbing it right now um if that actually is something that is true dude like i can't imagine it's going to be that much cheaper than going with a non-comp m3 or m4 um but with that said, I think this would hold its value a lot more just because I don't think it's going to move much numbers, dude. They're going to – Toyota is very uh, quick on the trigger to cancel things and change up things based on project. Like, dude, I don't know any other manufacturer that revises the engine in one year's time. You know what I mean? Like, they're very Damn. numbers 
They yeah, do that one year. BMW one year, does dude. it every seven years. They'll revise the engine. Yeah, dude. and like I, I thought um, on the GT350, what I have, they changed it. I want to say after three years, and that was they they, were, they came to a point where they had to revise the Voodoo just because it was so unreliable. Like there wasn't complaints about the B50 being unreliable. They just wanted to be more competitive. I'm assuming. I think a lot of people are complaining about the power output, or I don't. I don't know, dude, because it was a yeah. car that got a lot of butts. Um, Toyota's just really weird, and um, I've always thought the Supra was such a good car, like where it sits in the segment, what you get for your money. I'm. I'm just a guy that's super worried about buying a car and losing half its value, and with Toyota, like. They change up things so quickly, dude, that like a 2020 model. I don't know off the top of my head, but at a certain point that was, you know, pre COVID mind you like pre when COVID kind of hit the market super hard. So like 2021, 20, um, you could get a 2020 versus a 2021 for like 20 grand less, dude, just wow. because people wanted to flip them to get the newer revised motor. And at the end of the day, dude, we really don't know what has more potential, um, you know, I heard different compression ratio. I heard different head. Um, I don't know. Like, I really don't know, um, I don't know what is the more desirable engine at this point. And you've talked about even within BMW, there's different versions of that B58. So mm -hmm. I don't think um, that Super needs an S58. It would be fucking sweet. Um, I don't know Dude, what it would be priced at, but. It's going to be so freaking fast if it's getting an S58. I mean, even the M3s. Like with, I don't know how much more the M3 weighs, but you're breaking tires. It's most a lot of the time if you're stepping on the gas full throttle, you're gonna break tires. Yeah. In between shifts, you know, from third to second to third, third to fourth, you're chirping tires. So in a smaller car like that, it would dude, be ridiculous. It, That's what it, it gets, deserves, I guess. Absolutely, dude. If that, I mean, it's almost too good to be true. Like if they have a manual option in the higher trim with the S58, I mean. And you have the money, you'd be a dummy not to get that over, honestly, in my opinion, an M3 or M4. Um, if you want to go comp, that's, you know, that's a different discussion, I guess. But dude, we're talking probably like a 20 grand spread at that point, if not more. So I don't, you know, I don't know. Next car, Jonah's next car. Dude, literally, though, like I. um, That it just I would be blown away, dude, that'd be. That would be like the next big, like everyone would want one, dude. For sure. Um, and we'll talk about other cars in the pipeline, like within the same um, article or the same uh, leak, I guess what it was. Uh, they confirmed the the um, Corolla GR, which, dude, especially with the SDI dropping out, like we talked about last week, that's it, another hot, it's going to be another hot car for Toyota. So they're doing some power moves, dude, and – the, the super i didn't think it needed to kind of spread itself i always wanted a manual option and we can kind of get into that too like um we were speculating there's there was nothing on that but that might free up the m240i with a manual option especially because they have all they have all wheel drive dude you know what i mean i'm not saying not saying they're gonna allow a pairing like that but that would be i don't do you know if the non-comps can get all wheel drive with the m cars uh, non comps? No, I think non it's okay. So it's competition is automatic only and all wheel drive only. I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Or, oh, and you're only able to get all wheel drive in a competition, but I believe you can also get a comp rear wheel drive only as well. Yeah. I could, I, be, I I could be wrong on that. That's what I thought too. And with yeah. that said, if we, if you just listen to what we said, is like that means that the only way you would be able to get a manual, uh, just speculation with an all-wheel drive really affordable i mean these m240i's rip dude and they're affordable or a 340i um it it's can you imagine dude that's like the sleeper of sleepers. yeah e i almost bought one i mean and honestly they are even way more sportier than my than my 540 but like the 540 is just like so much bigger that i just kind of i don't know i liked it i i, I like the 7 series you know so i'm about that yeah. bigger bigger body i like the challenger and the camaros but the m340s and the 240 i haven't i haven't got to drive the 240 yet uh, the M240, that new body style that you just showed in the last slide. But yeah, yeah. I can only imagine how fast that fucking thing is. I mean, it's the 135. I've been in one of those. And I've been in uh, the previous generation 235, um, but not one of those. And I'm sure it's just 
a fucking rocket and i'm sure it's a perfect car for like downtown la you know small cities where you gotta have a nice small parking spot but yeah that's and a affordable fucking... and capable dude i mean yeah. like i don't i mean we're talking like nissan like nissan z i guess is super slots in there um I don't know, but all I'm saying, like from a sleeper standpoint, like you're not trying to stand, you're supposed to have, you want a capable, luxurious experience. You're more of an adult. Like I don't, I don't see what else you get. Like I don't, I, I wouldn't go. I would say this: a Toyota Camry, Toyota Avalon, maybe those are both fast as shit. Uh, yeah. Like a Lexus, like IS 350. You know what I mean? But yeah. all, all those, I, I mean, I don't know. I'd I'd way rather have the M340 or a 240 rather than a, a Camry. I mean, a Camrys are sick, but you know, yeah. there's just something about a BMW in my opinion. That's just where I'm where my head's at. And you can say this about any car. It's like, oh, you look up the you look up the trim, you look up the trim. Like, oh, at that point, I'd rather just save it for M3, whatever. You could say it all day long. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think an S3, I know they get crazy good reviews. I don't have any seat time with any new ones. I just don't see, if you're a car guy, why you would go with an Audi S3, which is basically a Volkswagen Golf, over a BMW, dude. I'm just, I don't see, I really don't see it, but That's, we're talking... I I forgot those dude VWs are pretty, are pretty nice driving cars too. But yeah, it's all like, it's honestly like, it's like whatever you get into first. I feel like it's like fucking PS4 versus Xbox, iPhone yeah, versus yeah. Samsung. It's like whatever you grew up with or whatever someone shows you, if they have a sick S3 and you get in it, you're like, Oh fuck, I want an S3. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, maybe that's how it is. But I, I got a buddy who's got a, I think it's an S5. I'm going to have to drive it. or It's either S4 or S, I think it's S4. I'm going to have yeah. to go and drive that and let you know how that is. But yeah, whatever and I, you're I, into. But and yeah, we, I agree. We, we wanted to get into the all-wheel drive systems a little bit more and deep dive in this. I don't know if you know the answer, but I looked up whatever the new revision of the Halidex system is. Like there's still only a 50-50 split. Like you're not getting 100% of the power to the rear. Um, You're probably still getting a, understeer esque experience i know they've done a lot to bring the engine closer to the center um you know the b5 which is you know a beautiful you know a lot of the car community love it it still is not uh, not built for cornering the engine's over the front axle it's still under series like a motherfucker it's still unreliable and now you know looking at the s line um you're getting a four cylinder, dude. I mean, I'm not saying it's, you know, you probably get a little bit less for the Audi, but I'm saying like, you're getting an inline six turbo. Uh, you're getting a lot more of a driver's experience. Um, I, I just don't know why you'd go with anything over BMW at, in that price range. Um, it's a different discussion at the Supra, you know, it does actually not charge a premium for the manual comes in fairly the same, you know, maybe a two door over a four door at that point, but you, you don't get an all-wheel drive option, you know, which kind of changes up the game um, with that too. So I don't really, I don't know where Audi slots in when you discuss all these points, you know? Yeah. But, um, and then, you know, s would be, would be nuts, bro. It would be nuts. Um, I, I, I mean, don't know. That, that'd be, that'd be pretty legit. I mean, they, they did bring, they already brought back, the old tuner car the fucking supra dude they had yeah. that thing had the two jz that thing was a fucking a, a tank you know and they yeah. just everyone tuned it you know like just just make just do it just put the s58 in it who cares you know make it a yeah. super unsafe super fast car for anyone to buy because and, and that not? was and that was i mean i want to say that was Man, like I, I think we lost it in '98. I know they upped. I mean, it might have lasted till 2002 in uh, Japan and stuff. I know the Skyline was a similar story, and obviously RX-7. But dude, like for that to come back, like I think a lot of things are possible. Um, I just think a lot of the time when enthusiasts see a car and they're like, wow, that's sweet. That's that's a that's an easy buy. Like that's a must buy. It doesn't really make sense in the segment. Um, that's why I know I don't really believe all these rumors. I mean, an S58 Super would be awesome, but you're also talking about what an eight seventy eighty grand Super. Like I don't know how many people want to sign up for that shit. You know? Yeah. At that that's point. true. Who knows? So it'd be a we could dream. We could dream though. We can dream, and and I'm not saying it's not worth all that money. I'm just saying I can't imagine it's going to move many units. You know? 
and it's yeah. a re and if 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 this is true and you are interested and you are an enthusiast like you buy that shit bro because it's not going to move and that car will be worth something someday like if this is actually something that's going to happen like that a manual s58 supra dude like can you imagine like no, there's no that'd way that's so sick dude driving Just... the s58 is such an experience dude yeah i i wanted to buy one so bad i was saying what what body part can i sell to get into this car dude and like and we don't even know the full capabilities of the thing like i'm i'm interested to see what they do in the aftermarket for this thing it's just crazy i mean it's interesting to me that how much it shares with the b58 you know i mean like if you really look at like prior generations like the the um, E90, E46, E92, I mean, those were all, like, their own thing. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't – they weren't anything to do with the N54. It started happening with the 1 Series M. Like, that isn't too much different than the standard N54. Um, and what is that? Is that them saving money or are these, you know – engines just becoming that capable where they're like dude let's just tweak a few things and put it in there like these these rm motors you know what i mean so it's how you look at it but um it's super interesting dude it's super interesting I'm, it makes me super excited um for the future i mean we were just talking doom and gloom but like news like this gets me hyped dude for car stuff so like super hype so I mean, fucking um, Dodge is doing it, and all these other companies are fucking doing it. Dodge put, like, a fucking Hellcat in a minivan. Why can't we just fucking get one cool car from someone else, dude? Someone just do it. Dude, Figure have you out, seen Toyota. Have you seen the Jeep Wagoneer with the Hellcat motor? Dude, oh, with it, the, they make it with a Hellcat motor? Yes, yeah, so that's Holy what it's in the Jeep shit. Wagoneer. Dude, I saw, I saw one on the freeway, and I thought it was a Range Rover. I was dude, like, what is this? I was like, I was just going to say, is that? doesn't... Does it not look like the old HSE, like the block style HSEs? Or yeah. Like just a little bit more. It looks exactly like that. Like I, I looked like, at what? it, you know, and they do the embroidering in the back the same way as range. Like I, do I when I looked, at it, I was like, you know, maybe the front's a little bit different. Maybe it doesn't look as nice. But I, and it's not a cheap car by any means. But I looked at the back, yeah. and I'm like, dude, is that a Range Rover? And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, no, yeah. it's a, it's a Grand Wagoneer. And I'm like, that's a sick ass car, dude. And then you, I know that'd be a cool car to buy used after someone's done because i bet they're fucking tough cars you know it's big dude. ass fucking car get one of those in a couple years yeah dude i just wish they'd bring the like the 300 back like all wheel drive 300 you know uh, put the which, 700, which 700 the chrysler dude oh i dude i almost got a chrysler too i went and test drove one the, the srt chrysler those are sick I mean, yes, dude. Imagine, I don't think they've put a Hellcat motor in one, dude, but they no. should. That's what I'm they saying. They should. should. That's the most fucking sick car, too. Like, it's like a mafia looking car. It's so sick, dude. Like, um, and I'm not even saying you got to give them a manual option. Just like all wheel drive, you know, automatic, dude. Like, a lot of people would want that. That thing would be sweet. Cause I think a lot of people like the Trackhawk <laughs> because it has all wheel drive. But if there was like a sedan version, I think a lot more people dude. would buy that. Because the Charger is that, but it, it's not all-wheel drive and also has that. You know what I mean? It's not the yeah. same. It's not the big luxury long wheelbase car. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's all how that you look be, at it, I guess. But it would that be That would sweet. be a really fun car. It would be, dude. That would compete with like fucking M5s and shit, dude. <laughs> like, that's what I'm, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, it would be like the American competition. M- that Because like, yeah. cause the, the CT, um, CT5V, the, cat, the new Cadillac yeah. that replaced the CTSV, fucking sweet but it, it 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 can't keep up with the new m5 and it can't keep up with like a plaid because like, it doesn't have all-wheel drive dude. it's not trying to appease their uh um kind of fit that mold but mm-hmm. um i think america should try to and i think i think dodge is the one to do it like dodge or chrysler or whatever that motor group uh would be sweet dude and you know that like alpha i think is part of chrysler i'm not sure yeah, I'm almost positive it still are. And they make oh, a fucking know. capable car, dude. Like the um, GT4, or um, sorry, the uh, Alfa Romeo Giulia uh, Quattrofolio. That thing is like one of the most underrated Jesus. sedans ever. Bro. Yeah, super nice looking too, dude. I mean, I, I, every time I see one, I'm like, damn, that's a nice car. It, it's 
I, I need to drive one still. I haven't driven one, but I mean, that's another one where it's like, I'd fucking drive one of these. Yeah. My, they should yeah. just, I don't know why. I don't know why Every, anyone who's been in a car like that, like a long wheelbase grand touring car, it's the best long drive vehicle, you know, like a, yeah. a, even the challenger, even sure. Even your car, it's nice and long drives, but having that extra, extra two doors so you can have people in the back and go on that same drive, you know, ha- be fully capable, be the fastest car on the road and be comfy. It's yeah. what more, the, what more do you want? You know? Yeah. And I don't know what happened. I, I would, um, this was when I was still in California when they pulled the manual out of like that car was supposed to come to America with a manual. And I don't know, you know, it must've been in crash testing or some kind of late. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, ha- some kind of legislation obviously happened where they're like, we can't bring this to America. Um, maybe MP, uh, MPG or maybe emissions. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know why, but that was another car where with the super, I'm like, dude, really? You're not going to bring a fucking super. You're not going to bring a Julia Quattrofolio with a manual. Like what, why? You know what I mean? Like that's like a no, like you're going to make a car like that. You didn't make it for the people that would buy it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. get like, yeah, there's a few guys that are like, I don't know how to drive manual. I want a car that like looks like a Ferrari. Like there's, that is, le- I don't, I'm not trying to cause hate, but like, that's a lot of the super drivers. They want to look like they're the man. Like that's a lot of those yeah. guys. <laughs> they don't know a fucking thing about it. They don't know anything about it. They just know it looks good. Yeah. And it's an auto. So it's called the Supra and it fucking goes fast. Sounds cool. And I don't have to shift it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And like, I know what, no hate. It's a fucking capable yeah. car. I was just like, it just seems like a missed opportunity. You know what I mean? Like, think about the Nissan Z not having a manual option. Who in their right mind would buy that fucking car, dude? It's it, not It's not coming with manual? No, no, it is. I'm saying if it wasn't. Oh, it, that's not, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, what silly. the fuck? It would be the silliest it, thing ever. Yeah. And it's, it, it doesn't have is. a ZF. You can't go, yeah. oh, it has a ZF, so it's, you know what I mean? Like, when you buy your car, you're like, okay, it has a ZF. It, it's a capable, good yeah. transmission at least. You know what I mean? But like, and it's a five series. like. It would yeah. be cool, but at the same time, like, it makes sense to go auto in California with a five series. Like, that yeah, makes sense. After driving a couple of them with like a hundred thousand miles with the ZF, and it still drives exactly the same, I'm like, okay, this yeah. is fine. This is gonna work yeah. for me, you know? Like, yeah. I don't, I don't even push my cars hard, dude. I drive them like a grandma, and it's yeah. fine. Like, that's just how I drive. I don't care anymore. I used to drive like an absolute lunatic. I yeah. mean, I can't. I have the I have the car that gives me the capability to, but I don't need to drive that fast. It's just nice yeah. having it, you know. And I want to step on it and get around or get in that whatever, get into that position. I can do it. Yeah, and like um another car where I, like people won't believe what I gotta say on this, but like the GT five hundred, dude. I don't think that ever needs a manual. I don't think it needs like it. It makes sense to have a Tremec dual clutch in that car. Like it is. You know, anyone Oof. who can afford that's going to be in their 50s midlife crisis. Yeah. Like, oh, I wanted a Mustang. And like it, that car is like perfect for what it is. It makes it way more reliable, makes it way more capable. I never have been like, oh, that means a manual. But when you got a 300, 400 horsepower coupe sports car and you're not offering a manual, I'm like, what in the fuck, dude? Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, especially when it's not as that F. Like, it just, I don't, I don't. I don't know why you buy something like that. It makes no sense to me, but yeah. I'm just no, glad you're right, that- though. Once you get over a certain horsepower number, though, it's like you're not able to drive the car with a fucking manual transmission. Not not no. successfully. Like after a while, you're on. A, if especially it's a track car, GT500, yeah. you're not going to be able to fucking withstand driving a manual. Get taking your hand off the wheel when you're driving 150 miles an hour every yeah. other second. And I'm not the man, dude. Like I'm not a good driver, but like. I drive five tenths in my car. Like it just, you like, I just, and that hat and that has a auto blip and all that stuff. Like where, you know, you can drive like an asshole. You can drive like you're a race car driver, but still with that, like six fifty in a manual, bro. Like, um, you're not using any of that dude. Like, even, on a, <laughs> yeah. even if I was on a track, I wouldn't be able to use that. So like when you have 700 plus horsepower in these cars, you, <sighs> it kind of makes sense, dude. Like you're not going to be using it. So have a smooth day, like dailyable, you know, beast of a car. And then when you want to let it go, you can actually get it to the fucking ground, dude. Like, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I put that fucker in first gear and I stomp on it. Like the ass ends coming out and I'm going into a tree, dude. Like, like that's what happens when you don't have something that is super 
you know, automated. And I know like people don't want to hear that, but like, if you're going to have cars like that, it makes sense. But like when you have a sports car, you know, in the three, 400 horsepower range, it is for enthusiasts. That's what the M340, M240, Supra, Nissan Z, like those are for car people. Like people think, oh, like car people, Lambos, M3s, M4s. Yeah, dude, I'd love to have one of those. But like, let's be realistic. Yeah. 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 So like, we're, we're, we're gonna bit we're gonna bitch they don't have a manual option dude none of us are affording that you know maybe maybe one day some of our viewers you know will but like um you can't get mad they don't have a manual option because it's literally doesn't make sense but when you have a car for the 30 40 year olds that are car guys that only can afford these things you know even stretching to get these 540s 340s 240s you gotta offer you know you gotta offer the option at least you know what i mean so i agree uh, but yeah, good news. Uh, it was a sour note last week about the SCI, but you know, we got a replacement. It was looking, it was looking grim dude. Cause we got, we had two front wheel drive cars and I kind of want to get into that. Um, what this new Corolla GR news is, we'll probably do a segment on that, but cause we lost the focus RS. We lost the Evo. We now lost the STI and I'm like, dude, all we got left is front wheel drive, um, Japanese yeah. and, um, korean cars in this segment i'm like dude we need an all-wheel drive car to you playing gt7 dude i'm pretty sure toyota gives you a free toyota corolla r so they're yeah. definitely making moves dude they're trying yeah. to fucking oh look at we got a very cool car yeah super cool you get one for free in gran turismo yeah like Come the by. gr the gr yaris would be absolutely sick for the american market but now that we're getting the corolla gr i'm like that's almost better like we need a little bit bigger car like we need a car that's going to go against um the elantra n uh even the veloster i don't know how long that's going to be around but like the civics are getting bigger um we need something while we'll drive to mix it up because i think the only reason i don't want to spoil future news we'll talk about that kind of stuff i uh you know, we said what we said about this good news, but, um, I think there's a lot in the pipeline and hopefully these, this good news changes it up, but offers more manual options, keeps, keeps this segment of vehicle for enthusiasts alive. And, uh, all in all, I think it's great news. And if you are a buyer of this, like you buy this shit, dude, cause otherwise they're not going to do this stuff, you know? Um, I don't know. The American market doesn't look great. That's all I'm saying. Like, at least keep the European and Japanese stuff. Cause I don't think America's doing anything special anymore, dude. I think Dodge is kind of emptying all they can. I don't think they're going to revise uh, the he- elephant or the, um, the Hellcat motor. I don't think they're going to, I think this is the last revision and I think they're going to go on the other stuff, dude. And I think that's why they're dropping in and literally everything from a Durango to a Jeep brand Wagoneer to charger a challenger i mean you name it they're dropping it in there so uh, TRX. Like, buy yeah. T- fucking yeah buy them take here you go you want it in this here you go we're not we're done with this shit so yeah take one in every single car and if you're worried about dodge jeep's already been on this electric game for longer than they even have so it's only a matter of time um i do want to get into mustang stuff it sounds like they still um, might be still doing some stuff, but it was, sounds like a hybrid system, dude. So I think, um, with these options out there, like, yeah, these aren't the fastest cars in the straight line, but it's not all about that. You can actually use this stuff and it'll be a lot more fun than a lot of these cars that are coming out. So yeah, we just wanted to keep you updated. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, help us get to that hundred, uh, hundred sub goal for us by the end of the month. Sub up huge puppets. sub up puppets, but yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Um, next week we'll probably have another episode up. We're you know, getting a little bit better at this. We bought we bought some equipment. Um, should be coming here soon for me and hopefully Jonah. We got to figure out um, some lighting and stuff as well. But we're just trying to up up the quality, look more professional. Any feedback would be helpful. But yeah, thanks for tuning in this week. All right, peace, fellas. Peace. <laughs>